It, it almost feels like a chapter of life is getting closed Nothing. in a weird way. Did you say something? It sounds kind of uh, insane, no. maybe, because it's none? like it was all vanilla this, vanilla that. Everything my stream was about yeah, since the day I started so was about vanilla WoW, so. and now vanilla WoW is over, and I'm I'm probably never playing vanilla again. I, I I I can't imagine. I mean, I'll never play. Hey, I'm gonna really copy the classic era. Right. It kind of feels There's like lots of ways to gear in so GDC much too outside of raids. Like like so much of my life has been based around doing vanilla WoW and getting vanilla wow legacy servers and cla getting classic in the first place like if you're new like you, you, you may not really know the whole story right but if if you've been here like since the beginning like you know like we didn't have classic and there was no no end in sight there was no way that we were going to get this thing and we finally got it and being kind of like one of those guys who was like on the front line of that and doing a lot of work behind the scenes that people didn't even see on stream or on youtube or any of that stuff like it, it is just wild to to finally have kind of like not only gotten the thing but like I said when I was talking to guild uh to to finally go through it are you losing your classic character forever I'm gonna copy to classic era and I'm gonna keep like a copy of my character just to have it I mean I, I've accomplished pretty much everything there there is effectively nothing left for me to want to do except for maybe tank some some raids like tank knacks I didn't do that but uh, tank Nax and Tank AQ, but I've tanked BWL, I've tanked MC, like those are a little, but I mean, I could do that on Classic Era, right, if I really wanted to someday. Are you regularly going to start up Classic Cast with the TBC launch? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to keep going with Classic Cast. Uh, we stopped because Stacey had his baby and, and things got kind of hectic, but it was, uh, man, this was a really, really special thing. It's possible that he was like the first of the wave, but it just uh, it doesn't really fit the timeline. Even even outside of games and stream, like in my life, like this made a huge. I mean, this this is what my stream was about. This is why I started streaming was literally for vanilla WoW. Yeah. Um, Isn't that Relux not cold? It was literally because of this game. You know, kind of kind of moving on from it. Like I'll still play WoW, and I'm and I'm going to play Burning Crusade. I will, but it is. Um, it is. Kind of crazy. That's why I, vanilla unironically changed your life. It really did. It really did. I'm finally done. Nax being like the, the this is kind of like the, the main raid. It's a little bit different, you know? It's kind of like graduating high school. You'll never see your friends again. Well, you can see your friends again, right? But we're gonna do it in college and TBC, right? So Burning Crusade is coming next week. Something to be very excited about. Burning Crusade is coming next week, starting next Tuesday. Um, And I can't wait. It's gonna be really, really fun. The way that I approach Burning Crusade may be a little bit different, because I, I think some things are gonna change with my life and my stream. Burning Crusade is gonna be very stream content driven for me. Congrats, dude. Uh, as opposed Congrats, to dude. going through and, and kind of checking right, as many boxes yeah, as I wanted to. Burning Crusade is gonna be less about checking boxes than Vanilla was. I guess more about putting cool on the show. Cool come tomorrow, Clovis. You know? Do you have crazy DPS in Nax? I did. Right. Dude, I died when the boss was at like 30%, and I was, I, I still finished second on damage on KT. Like, that was insane tonight. Yeah, new house. There's a lot of really, really good things to look forward to that are, are really good for, they're really good for the future and what I want to do long term with my stream and everything else. In a few weeks, we're going to be raiding this guy. We'll be raiding Karazhan. So, it's going to be really, really cool. It is going to be really, really cool. We'll still be doing GTRP as well. Um, oh, these guys are level oh. 70. Because they, they... So, yeah. I'm very excited. The future is very, very exciting. Uh, there may be a little bit less wow overall in the future. Things may be a little bit different going forward where there'll be a little bit less wow, more variety, more more trends, more IRL. Hopefully as the world kind of gets back to normal-ish. It's kind of like that time, you know what I mean? I think I think for a lot of us, even for some of you wow frogs, I, I don't know if you're like kind of in the same boat as I am, but like it's, it's kind of like, d does anybody feel the same way I do? It's kind of like moving on to the next chapter a little bit where it's like, I did it. I finally went back and I did everything in vanilla that I, that I really wanted to do that maybe I didn't get to do. 
for... I'm excited. I have some things like that in Burning Crusade. It's going to be really, like, content-driven, right, as far as what I want to do in Burning Crusade. I'm kind of no sad. I'm a noob now. to the stream. I started Sorry, watching when you were playing Rust, but, hey, I'm still here. Yeah, hey, man. I mean, it's... I thought about doing a lore... I didn't really I mean, do a four-year anniversary <laughs> stream. And I thought about doing a lore stream. I don't know why I didn't. It's definitely bittersweet for those of us that played Pride for years at the end of an era. And to be honest, Classic WoW helped us get through the pandemic. But now that restrictions are lifted, I can't play 770s. Yeah. That's another thing, dude. The pandemic couldn't have come at a better time, could it? I think as things start to open up, even for me in the stream, Anna Hoth, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Madman, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you guys. Cruiser, five gifted. Thank you, dude. Good timing pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it is what it is, right? But um, thank you guys so much for all the subs. Thank you guys for the gifted. One door, five gifted. Thank you so much, man. And to have, to have so many people so supportive of me and what I'm doing and even in WoW, outside of WoW, with the stream and everything else, man. It's kind of... Uh, it's kind of wild. Guys, thank you so much for all the subs. Seriously. Agarom with 15 gifted subs. Thank you. Stalin Monk, thank you for the fight. You guys are just popping off. It, like, it, it, it means so much to me. The, the amount of support that you guys have given me over the years and some of you guys playing the guild and, and, and being a huge part of the guild and, and everything like that, but also big parts of the stream. And it's really, really cool. I, I never in a million years could have ever thought that uh, my stream was gonna be this way, and this is how things were gonna go. There's a lot more to come, but. Simon, thank you for the gifted sub. Nadiax. Nadiax. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the, the $100, dollars, dude. Community. Thank you so much, man. It was a hell of a ride. See you in TBC. Thank you, Less dude. Thank you free. so much, man. Thank you so much, dude. I, I really, really appreciate that, Nadia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, look, I didn't dono all for once. Thank you, man. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, like there's been times where I've definitely been like up and down about, about different things, particularly with Classic WoW and how things have gone. At the end of the day, there is so much more to be happier about than there is to be uh, to, to have been upset about because we went through a lot. If you're a Classic WoW guy, you know, like everybody's been through a whole lot of bull crap until they finally like got it right. It just sucks that it was right at the very end, you know? So, uh, how much of the guild is moving? Uh, well, everybody's staying here for Burning Crusade. We're staying on for Alina, so. I opened world level 260s that I sold and I floated my rent. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's good, Mike. Is fan world down or Be at Alpha, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, dude. Crusade does not need to recruit at all. We have some people re-rolling Shaman. We, we're literally, if our current raid teams went in, we will literally have like over 20 Nax runs. Was Wrangler around? With the current people that are in the guild, right? So, Crusade is really full. But, yeah, there's like a lot of people. So it's not like we need anybody. We don't need to recruit anyone. So uh, I don't know how I want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to be off-putting to anybody who wants to join the guild. And I do want to reopen up Whittle Crusade for leveling as a leveling guild for people who are new to the game and uh, give people kind of a home there. So so we're gonna go back. We're gonna finish. Uh, we're gonna finish raid tomorrow. I might take a few days off this week to kind of get situated. Uh, with the getting ready for Burning Crusade and all this stuff and oh, yeah, plan some things and stuff. maybe actually go to the doctor and get some contacts. Maybe that would be nice because I've had contacts for a few weeks. Learning while by yourself is a good experience. Getting help in a full explosion kind of ruins it, but I see your point. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean? I've said that before. What do you mean? Have you considered LASIK? Hardly. Yeah, man. Yo. Uh-oh. Kind of crazy to think about. Uh-oh. So now that we're done talking to my current guild, my WoW guild, let's go talk to my, uh, let's go talk to my GTA RP guild, the Los Santos, BCSO, LSPD, everybody else. So, the GTA RP guild. So we're gonna, we're gonna hop on over. Switching back to corn right now is like the main character waking up at the end of the movie and it was all a dream. One Kaifu, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Clax, thank you for the $3. Thank you, man. Uh, the first week I had 60, I played you in BGs. <laughs> one, one, lost one. Uh, had no idea who you were. Big oh fan since God. then. Thanks for all the content. Being classic fun to watch. I was hyped when Clover's got a t-shirt. Felt, uh, felt a part of the guild. That's awesome, man. Thank you, dude. Hell yeah.